In this lecture, let's learn how to create and use a collection in MongoDB. Let's switch to MongoDB shell. And currently, we are in the SampleDB database. So, if you want to check the currently selected database, you can type this db command and it will return you the currently selected database. So, currently we are in the SampleDB database. Now, in this SampleDB database, I want to check all the available collections. For that, I can type show collections command. And you see that this show collections command has returned nothing. That means this SampleDB database does not have any collections. Now, we have learned that a collection is like a table which can store related data. But instead of storing rows and columns, a collection stores JSON objects, which is referred to as documents. So, a collection is a collection of documents. And the simplest way to create a collection in MongoDB database is to insert a record into a collection. If the collection does not exist, a new one will be created. For example, if I say db dot customer, we don't have this customer collection in this sample db database. But if I try to insert a document in this customer, so for that, if I use this insert one method and to this insert one method, we need to pass a document. Here, let's say this document is going to have a name field and let's say name is John. It is also going to have an age field and let's say age is 35 and it is also going to have a gender field and let's say gender is male. So here to this insert one, we are passing a document and we are trying to insert this document inside this customer collection, but this customer collection does not exist on this sample DB database. So what MongoDB will do is first it will create this customer collection and then in that customer collection it will insert this document. So if I go ahead and if I press enter and now if I go ahead and if I type show collections command and if I press enter you will see that now this sample DB database has this customer collection. So this is one way of creating a collection in MongoDB database. And here, this collection is created implicitly. But we can also create a collection explicitly by using create collection command. So for example, inside this sample DB database, if we want to create another collection and if we want to create this collection explicitly, we can say db dot create collection. So this create collection is a method which we use to create a collection. And to this create collection method, we need to pass a name for the collection. Let's call this collection maybe products. And if I go ahead and if I press enter, this products collection has been created. And to check that, let's again run this show collections command. If I press enter, now you can see that now we have two collections inside this sample DB database, the customer collection and the products collection. Now this create collection method also takes an optional second argument. So for example, let's say we also want to create another collection. Let's simply call it test. So this is the first argument of this create collection method. And the second argument is an optional options argument. For this argument, we need to specify a set of curly braces. And inside these curly braces, we can specify some options and we need to specify these options as a key value pair. So the first option is this capped option. So this capped property and this is also optional. Now to this capped property, we need to assign a Boolean value. If we set it to true, in that case, it will create a capped collection. A capped collection is a fixed size collection that automatically overwrites its oldest entries when it reaches its maximum size. And when we set this capped property with this value true, in that case, we also need to specify the size property. Then the second property, the second option which we can specify here is the auto index ID. Again, to this, we need to assign a Boolean value. So if we set it to true, in that case, it will create an index on the underscore ID field. The default value for this property is false. Then 
since we have set this capped property to true as i mentioned in that case we also need to specify the size property and here we need to specify the size so this size will be the maximum size in bytes for a capped collection so here let's specify some size maybe some random number so this size will be in bytes and finally we can set one more property which is this max property and using this property we can specify the maximum number of documents that is allowed in this capped collection let's say 100 okay so if i go ahead and if i press enter it is going to create a capped collection with a size of these many bytes and where maximum of 100 documents is allowed if i press enter this capped collection with this name test has been created and if i go ahead and if i run this show collections command we should also see that test collection finally we can use drop method on a collection to delete it permanently from the database so for example let's say we want to delete this test collection from the sample db database in that case we can see db dot collection name which is test dot drop if i press enter it has returned true and now if i go ahead and if i run show collections command we should not see that test collection so this test collection has been dropped from this sample db database so when we call this drop method on a collection it drops that collection permanently from that database now let's also go ahead and let's query this customer collection for that we can see db dot customer which is the collection name dot find and if i press enter it will return us all the documents which we have inside this customer collection currently inside this customer collection we only have one document so this document which we inserted and as you can see for this document we did not explicitly specify this id field so mongodb implicitly added this id field and it assigned it with this object id all right now let's go ahead and let's clear this cell by typing this cls command so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day